Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, welcome to Lydia's Year End in Review. What did I do this year? You know, really, when I thought about it, I couldn't remember. But when I went through my camera roll on my iPhone, then everything came back to me. So, what did Lydia do? Sponsored by Turtles. I went to Cuba with my family and experienced starvation in a whole new level. Um, they don't have anything there to eat, so we had to bring food and then we ran out of things. You, you really become appreciative of Nutella and uh, Anyways, uh, next we did a chop challenge, me and Kenny. Um, we essentially recreated the chop show. I had some weird ingredients and, and I had to cook, you know, an appetizer main course and dessert within like 30 minutes and uh, had some weird fruits and random things but I mean it's always cool to do because that way you get to like experience new foods that you would normally touch you know then uh we had an art outdoor barbecue in the snow with our winter coats on and uh, it was fun like snowflakes were falling we're searing burgers that was good um I filmed Zoinked last year but it actually aired this year so I was actually on television and it's really surreal to see yourself on reruns and on the preview channel, and I was like, ah, that's me, ah. <laughs> Even though I didn't win, I really felt like I kind of won because I was on television, which was my ultimate goal. I went on a wine tour with my cousin, who turned uh, 19. Hey, hi. And it was very exciting, and we got buds down suds. Well, it's not suds. Wine. Uh, okay, I went to Little Italy for the first time in, in Toronto. Um, and I got this really, well me and Kenny went, and we got this really tasty pizza that had no sauce whatsoever, but it did have mozzarella and buffalo mozzarella, and uh, you know, basil and cherry tomatoes, very tasty. We actually did recreate it here, and it was fantastic. Expensive, mm -hmm. but fantastic. Uh, I did two second doughs with my sister, one was for uh, Kenny's cousin Mary, and the other one was for Cynthia's friend Pam, and they were successful, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. Well, because we were involved, right? The Italian dream team is fantastic. Then we went to Anime North this year. I dressed up as Carmen, uh, female Carmen. And it's out of all the costumes I've ever done that have cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars, this one cost me maybe 50, and it's been the most widely accepted one that I've ever done. So it makes me wonder. Ah. Ah. Okay. Then for my birthday, Chinzia made me bacon roses and also bacon turtles, which was a hamburger patty wrapped in bacon weave with uh, uh, head and, and tail hot dogs. Oh my god, it's fantastic. She did a good job. Um, Italy won the soccer game. Awesome. <laughs> well, what soccer game? I think it was the Euro Cup. It was, it was something It was a cup. A cup? Uh, of some sort. It was a cup. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I got to drive downtown. It was great. Blasting the Italian anthem. So I, that was good. Um, I had the tsunami interview on Cable 14. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but this Yuletide log is actually live action Yuletide log. There was a guy putting that piece of wood up. It was fantastic. Anyways, um, you know, amazing quality <laughs> broadcasting. Uh, Cable 14. <laughs> Hence why my interview did not make it to Gable 14 because I guess I didn't do it so well. So like if I had a PR team, they would have fired themselves. That's how bad I did. So, hey, at least I got the opportunity to try. So that was good. And uh, I made a lasting joke for years and years that I'll tell you about later. Okay. Uh, Jimmy and Chinzia both turned 30. We had a big party for Chinzia and uh, we met at Montana's for Jimmy, so it was fun. Um, we participated in the Wild Waterworks wedding competition, and that was uh, that was quite the experience. We had to make a video, and uh, so we went to all the different places that chronologically happened in our relationship, like where we first met, you know, like backyard. We did some shenanigans, so that was fun. And then we actually got admit admitted into the contest. We had to compete against four other couples. And we were the best ones, obviously, but um, we didn't end up winning, which is not a big deal. It was, it was a popularity contest, right? Yeah, it was a popularity right? contest, and that was stupidity. But we really did well at the physical challenges, which was a huge surprise to me. I didn't think I could push myself that far 
and it just it was it was more of a rewarding experience than anything. So even though we didn't win, I felt like I came up with something, and me and Kenny's bond became stronger. Yeah, we we tied for first place did, in the physical we did, competition. We tied for first place. It was fantastic. Um, we did. Uh, what, we had to do. Um, we had to row across the wave pool in a in a two person tube. We had to go down the slide the fastest way. We had to. Uh, that, that was the most disgusting was, thing ever. I can never look at a funnel cake ever again. That was disgusting. <coughs> um, oh, and then we had matching t-shirts. And then Shanae dressed up as a giant banana. And all of our family came out. And it was fantastic. Like, people got to say hi and meet each other sometimes for the first time. Yeah, it was, Chris, mom, and yeah, it your was mom. And my mom. And it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, and we did well. I feel we did well. And you know what? They could step it because we did wrong. So, that was something, and we weren't engaged at that point, but we figured if we win a free wedding, that would be fantastic, but, uh, I'll let you know what happened later in the year. Okay, so then, we went to Wonderland, which was fun, because that was a nice little breakup of things, because there was a bit of stress with not winning, and like, you know, a little disappointment, so Wonderland was kind of a fun place to hang. Also, there was um, a really nice picture of Kenny's FRS and like the sky is all purpley, but like the FRS is like beautiful white pearl color. Very nice. Um, see, what happened? Something big happened in November. Do you remember what that was, Kenny? Yeah, I don't remember. I think you remember. I think I have a piece of jewelry. <gasps> we got engaged. It was fantastic. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> Extreme close up. Uh, that was a complete shock to me because I was not expecting it. We were dating for nine years at this point. Um, and I was just like, you know what? We're going to have a great anniversary. And I didn't engage you with the last thing on my mind. but And then they came and it was like the most beautiful thing that could have happened. And I was really happy. And Kenny was really happy too. <laughs> so, so yeah. Well, why don't you tell the story? Okay, I will tell the story. So, it's our uh, ninth anniversary on uh, uh, November 24th. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was distracted by the heel time log, sorry. The crackling. The crackling is just amazing. Um, so, we went out to dinner. We went to. Um, well, where were we supposed oh, to go? Sorry. Where did we go in the morning? In the morning, uh, my gift to Kenny was a trip to the planetarium, the local planetarium at McMaster University. Kenny was not expecting it. And he had a great time with uh, with our uh, planetarium man. Who got <laughs> to, the guide. The, the guide, I guess. Yeah, and he got to. Um, he had this remote control that could fast forward time, go through space, double click on planets, and zoom in. It was really cool. And Kenny had now some time. So then uh, after that, we went to uh, Copacabana for dinner, which is an amazing uh, meat buffet in Toronto. If you've ever been or if you've never been, you should go, because they have, they come around with giant swords with, like, different kinds of meats, and, and then they had, like, a nice salad buffet. It was fantastic. And they had the bang, 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 bang dancers. Brazilian dancers, the yeah. Brazilian dancers, yeah. And then, uh, then I was ready to go home, but Kenny wanted to go to the CN Tower. So I was like, all right, let's go. And then Kenny's favorite part of the CN Tower was closed. So I'm like, all right, let's, let's just leave. And he's like, no, we gotta go up there. I'm like, okay. So we go... Kenny gets caught in security, starts going off, he starts panicking, I had no idea at this point, but then it was because the machine was broken, so then Kenny and I went up to the CN Tower, and we tried to get some alone time, but obviously in a, you know, a tourist attraction, not really happening to people, going taking pictures, there's drunk football people, Woo! There's, there's some Jewish people, there's some Chinese tourists, it was chaotic, but finally... We got a moment alone. Kenny grabbed my hand shaking and he said he'd love me for a long time. He had a speech, but he doesn't remember it. And then at that point, he knelt down and I don't remember her, And I was crying and hugging and lots of <laughs> great stuff. So that was fantastic. And it was really a life-changing thing. So I was very happy with that. So and I think Kenny was happy with it too. Yes. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. Um, then the last cool thing we did was we went to the Distillery Drifter Christmas Village, um, which is a beautiful place if you haven't been. It's, um, they set it up once, uh, obviously, during Christmas time. There's, like, carolers and 
people in costume and lots of singing and delicious food. So um, it was rainy, but we still had a good time anyway. Whenever me and Kenny hang out, we always have a good time. It's just being in company with your your best friends. So it was really great. So um, right now we are celebrating our New Year's tradition that we've done once before. We <laughs> once. <laughs> it's a tradition now. <laughs> once. <laughs> we did it once. That's the choice now. We, we go to the store and buy a giant steak. So that's my face. It's huge. Um, and then we cook it with garlic and butter. And then we eat it. And then we just chill. And it's quite lovely because last year we spent trucking. So that wasn't a fun New Year's. So this is a nice, just kind of low key, very nice. Um, you'll tie log. Highly recommend it. Nice and warm. Anyways, uh, so that was my year in review. What was yours? Video response. Ciao, ciao.